Good morning, you guys. It is Fit Greek here. Welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new, subscribe and like. And if you're returning, just like. Um, today's video, I was gonna do a Costco haul and totally forgot today's Saturday. And it's pretty chaotic and they're still requiring masks, which at that point I kind of changed out masks so they kind of loop behind the ear so. It shouldn't be as bad, but I am desperate need of a cameraman for that because my husband is pretty much useless with that. Um, anyways, so today's video, without further ado, is what I take in a day. wanted to give you my information. I am not any kind of medical personnel, so please take this with a grain of salt. Um, you know, talk to your physicians about that. So, and any given day, I should say, um, and these are all supplements, and that's exactly what they are. They supplement for a day that you might not have eaten as much because you didn't um, expend as much calories. Off, I do take a multivitamin and everything that I purchased except for my fish oils were purchased on Amazon I am NOT making any kind of commission so there will not be any links or descriptions or anything like that below those are my multis I know the bottles not very functional but the ingredients are very uh, simplistic I like these because they're one capsule daily and it goes from ginger extract to artichoke to even A vitamin to potassium to calcium. So it literally has a little bit of everything. And this actually has chamomile flower. Did not know that. So I love those. And they're kind of like. I don't know the size of the pill. A little big. Yeah. Yeah. So they're about the size of my pinky nail. And by the same Swissy uh, brand, Grapeseed, I take two of those at 14,250 milligrams. Helps with skin health, also antioxidants, also producing collagen, and um, assists with the uh, circulatory health. And then these are two a day, but they're tiny. So with this company, they've just kept their pills very simple and no dyes, no colors, and that's what I'm trying to stay away from. Those chewables aren't the best. <laughs> so they're like the size of Advil's, if that. The old school Advil's. Ooh, just broke that. My creatine by Cellucor. There's some two servings and powder like my cornstarch. Each scoop has five grams. Being said, creatine is an, an amino acid that is found in steak. And um, what it does for me is that the powder actually absorbs intracellular to the cell of the muscle. And whereas if it retains that water into the muscle, whereas if you had a salty meal, that sodium chloride actually gets absorbed on the extracellular, so on the outer side, so like underneath your um, skin. So this actually helps in aid in recovery 
and helping with the fullness of the muscle. So, um, I don't know. I'm not going to cherry pick any info, but it's definitely something to look into and research. Um, some of the studies have shown that it's actually helped with Alzheimer's, um, dementia, actually with neurotransmitting um, issues. And uh, with me, with fibromyalgia, I feel that it's actually extremely helped so much. Creatine. I, well, I guess I could follow up with another study for not sponsored. My old school, this is Midnight Cherry. And it's by, uh, like I said, C4 is by Cellucor, and that's by the Project Clear Evolution, Clean, Clear, and Evolved. And what they mean by that is that um, they test their formulas if they've been contaminated, which, you know, working in factories and producing the stuff could possibly con uh, cross contamination. So they're clean and clear on that. And for the fact that if you are in um, such as sports like bodybuilding, bikini. Uh, for example, um, when I was in OCB, natural bodybuilding, you know, if it had a trace of uh, maybe an amphetamine, I don't know. That's a pretty, that's a big uh, contaminant, but, um, and they tested me and I was thinking, hey, you know, I'm taking Booyah and it, accidentally got traced with some kind of amphetamine and I'm on a natural bodybuilding show and I won first they would technically have to pee me and all that and I come pop uh the the if I test hot then they can disqualify me so point is is that they make sure everything is clean and clear so that um athletes of both using of this and natural are okay and safe to take it. This one has the beta al alanine. So beta alanine, and that actually has the tingle effect. It also helps get blood circulating, and that's kind of why I take it. it gets everything going um, as if I had just started jogging and kind of getting a warm up. So um, I try to be careful with caffeine. I'm very mindful, I should say, about my caffeine intake. For example, um, that's as much coffee as, as I had. So it was probably about 10 ounces. Um, this has 200 and 200 milligrams. And this is the cleaner version, whereas the old original has 300 milligrams of caffeine. And like I said, this is Midnight Cherry. I totally, totally recommend it especially if you like that sour pop uh, here's one of my aminos that I've been taking lately that I actually quite like um, my only downfall is the consistency of it is very clumpy I don't Ooh. it's kind of clumpy um, and then when you go to uh, shake it up it kind of I don't know doesn't mix so well and I usually put ice in my pre-workout so that actually acts as an agitator but this is the ABCD uh, nutritional or core nutritionals and it's the aminos beta alanine cartine and drive so the the ABCD the drive has actually 10 milligrams of um, of caffeine so I actually like this so if I need uh, like some aminos some that protein kind of uh, I will actually uh, take a serving of this and it helps it has 100 milligrams of it's kind of like you know coffee on steroids <laughs> I shouldn't say coffee on steroids but coffee on caffeine Protein on caffeine. This flavor is Australian gummy snakes. And it's not bad. It says that there's no fillers. Uh, oh, fermented BCAAs. Nor and it is my overtraining solution. With that, it looks like that. It 
literally like looks kind of like something that's been dried and freezed and then crushed to like to dust and what this dry and frozen stuff is is colostrum and if you guys don't know colostrum is breast milk um what it says here on the label i'm reading strictly from this is um it activates your body's uh nk with the tnf defense mechanism post-workout enhancement and adaptive immune system response 43 percent or greater increase in amino acid absorption so i guess it helps absorbing your aminos who would have thought actually take three yeah. first of all omega three six and nine those are not made in your body you need to incorporate those into your body first off second off if your body doesn't produce it you need to eat it so most people don't eat shellfishes and fish for that matter well and chicken eggs and all that i'll say animal products um so, with that being said, these are standards to a person who's eating fish twice a week. Secondly, if you're not doing that, then this, these numbers aren't going to suit you, meaning you need to actually up these. And the reason why I say all this is because my, my rheumatologist, yes, if you don't know, I have fibromyalgia, rheumatoid arthritis, and PTSD. Uh, well, actually, the PTSD caused the fibromyalgia and the RA. Anyways, so that's on autoimmune disorder. When you are already low on omega-3s and you don't take it, your body actually needs more. Studies have shown what is required of this because this is the norm. But no one does the norm. What is normal these days? For me, I'm not normal because I need to actually be taking, I take three of these. Meaning, we gotta do some math, you guys. So that's three times the 330. So that's almost like a thousand milligrams just solely on the um on the omega-3s. Studies so have shown omega-3s are good in lowering anxiety, depression, stress. Your neurotransmitters, your brain needs these fats. And when your brain does not have fats, you get these bogged down, um, like the fog brain, you can't concentrate, more irritable, less likely to fall in depression and anxiety. And I say all this spewing words because I am in it, I deal with it, and I'm talking to medical professionals about it. But I am not you, so definitely talk to your professionals about it. So, um, I should almost be taking like six of these, but also having too much oil, uh, too much um, fats in your stomach, it's gonna be hard on your pancreas and your, and your gallbladder, and so it's gonna be hard to kind of break it down. Um, so, I take three before I go to bed, and usually I have a meal before I go to bed too, whether it's eggs or something. Uh, the funny thing too with fats, you kind of need something for it to cling on to. So you have to think that is, um, that viscosity is very oily. So think of it as like a piece of white bread that's porous. So when you eat that piece of bread, it's going to absorb that fat and then it's going to become like a, a ball. So a ball of stuff that's uh, carbohydrates pretty much that's going to start to break down so that little ball is going to travel through your stomach get broken down into your small intestines and then into your uh, larger intestines you need something with these pills to help absorb everything i love you guys see y'all soon like subscribe and you know what to do with the buttons